kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown, Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the 1994 rebuild of the Detroit Lions. That's right, we are back and this is going to be the most important episode. No, not because we need to win a championship. We already did that last episode. Go back and watch it. This is the most important episode because this is the exact same year that we got to in the Baltimore Ravens when everything went bad, when it all crashed, and we had to start this series up. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Now I have a backup file that hopefully we can load up, and it's the exact same file, just a backup, an extra file. Hopefully if worse comes and it does crash during this year, then we can just hopefully lo load up that file save a backup file to that file making the backup file a backup file and then move on that's the goal i guess we'll see what happens in this episode as i mentioned kind of buried the lead there we did win a championship in the last episode barry sanders is now a super bowl winning running back which feels still pretty weird to say but he is so now all we got to do is go back to back, I guess, <laughs> and make Barry Sanders the greatest of all time. That's, that sounds pretty simple, right? So if you guys are excited, hit that like button. If you go to enjoy, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and let's continue our rebuild of the Detroit Lions. So this is what our roster looks like in the 1999-2000 NFL season. Peyton Manning is a Super Bowl winning quarterback in his rookie season. We've got Barry Sanders, who's now a Super Bowl winning running back. Herman Moore, Terrell Owens, Randy Moss has a Super Bowl ring. All these guys that never win rings in real life, except for obviously Peyton Manning got a couple in his career in real life. All these guys that never win rings in their real careers, they now have one. Ray Lewis has one in real life, though. Strahan has a couple in real life. Vrabel, obviously, and McGinnis have some. You get it. There's a lot of people on this team that don't have Super Bowl rings uh, to their name, but now they do in this fictional alternate timeline they now do so we're looking to obviously repeat as champions and i don't think that there should be anything to deny us i mean we only got better in the offseason by drafting champ bailey so i don't see a world where we don't at least make it back to the nfc championship i mean i don't know i guess we'll find out how the simulation goes but this is the draft class it is the 2000 NFL draft class, and that is significant for one reason and one reason only, and it is significant because it is filled with quarterbacks, but mainly one man. The only man that matters, Tom Brady. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm so happy that we're finally here. Uh, I am going to put a few more players on the list. Jamal Lewis, Sean Alexander, Ron Dane. I love me some Ron Dane. As far as anything else goes, Plaxico Burris, absolutely. Peter Warwick, for sure. Uh, we're not really in the market for a receiver, though. So, I don't really know how uh, the receiver market's going to play out. But, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll take it by stride, see what we could do we still are technically in the market for a tight end and i don't think that we're gonna get one in this class left tackle there's no one that i really want left guard there's nobody that i really want centers uh, nah although what was that guy's name oh i thought that was chris i thought it was chris boober i thought his last name was boober it's it's i'm assuming it's bobber hardly know her but I was hoping it would be Boober. That's more funny. Uh, Marvel Smith, what a name. I don't think I want anybody in the offensive line. And our offensive line, to be fair, is pretty solid. So I don't think we need anybody. On the defensive line, we could always use some defensive line help. It's never a bad thing, especially when John Abraham's in the class. And Kabir Gabajabi Amila. Man, that, that always gives me, like, a, 
hard time because it's a hard name, but it always feels like I'm messing it up, even though I feel like I'm saying it right. <laughs> uh, it's a weird feeling to say his name. D tackles. Not really seeing anybody here. I mean, we already have a couple that I like, including one that's really, really good. Uh, Niall Diggs we'll put on the list. LeVar Arrington, absolutely. Uh, Brian Erlacher, Mark Simonu. Anybody else? Nobody in middle linebackers. Keith Bullock and right outside. Uh, and that's probably going to be it for them. And then corners. I'll put Delta O'Neal on there. Ahmed Plummer. He's the plumber man. Uh, but this cornerback class is kind of weak. The past couple have been pretty decent, but this one is it's just, it's just kind of weak. So we will we'll move on. Look at safeties. I'm not seeing any safeties that pique the old interest. And then same deal with... Uh, I'll put Steve Gleason on there because he's Steve Gleason. Seabass. And uh, that means Leckler should be on here somewhere. Is he down the down the list a lot? There he is. There's Shane Leckler. Okay, I'll put those two on there just because they're legendary players. Do I need to fire anybody? I mean, we have free safety, strong safety as our national scout. I feel like I should change that. <laughs> we don't really need a, f a free safety, strong safety as our strong as uh, our national scout. When we have one as our as our one star scout, I don't know what we're doing there. So let's fire that scout for the first time. I think all series. And we'll hire a three-star scout. There's two three-star free safety scouts. Uh, strong safety, free safety. There's four. Or there's three of them. Ted Wilkerson's also one. Man, they really want people to scout free safety, strong safety. Uh, there's not a whole lot of options in the the version of Madden that we're in right now, Madden 22. So I think. I mean, it's running back and fullback really is all that there is i mean there's guards do we really not want to have a guard as our not in this class i'll hire the three-star scout alan fanica even though he's in the league right now currently uh as our three-star scout not for this season though but for a future season when we're gonna need more interior offensive linemen there's just not a whole lot of options i don't really like any of the options available so all right, it is now time. I'm going to set the saves. We're going to save this one, and then we are going to save the backup file so we are on the same playing field the entire time, although I'll save the auto save first. We will save everything. All right, so everything should be ready to go. We should be all here and, and all updated. Now, I'm a little bit worried to jump in because things could get a little crazy. So I'll start simulating and we'll see what happens. We are on career file uh, number two. You got to remember that. We're on career file number two. So if anything gets corrupted as of right now, then we have to go to career file number one. That'll be the one that hopefully isn't. And this is all crossing our fingers, by the way. Just hoping that everything works. We are 2-0, but remember last episode, weren't we like 10-0, and then we had an epic collapse where we finished like 12-5 or something, or 12-4, something like that? It was an absolute, utter collapse, and I don't know how we, how it happened. <laughs> I honestly don't know how it happened. Locker room calling it quits. Who's retiring? Who's old enough on our team to retire? I thought I, uh had a pretty young locker room well let's find out who's who's retiring on this team barry sanders no convince him to stay you're an integral part of the team you can't you can't retire barry he says this is the same thing that that bruce matthews and that uh lomas brown i think was the one that gave us this option he says that if we keep winning, he'll stick around. But if we start losing again, he's going to call it quits halfway through the year. Barry, that's not you. That's not you, Barry. Please don't retire. At least we got him a championship. Now I feel a lot better. Luther Ellis we have to bring back because he's a stud. But we're running low on money. So Luther Ellis, five year, uh, $5 million. And I'll bump this up to 705. $48 million, and he's coming back. Luther Ellis is back. 
Uh, ooh, Terrell Owens needs a contract. Ugh, a lot of our good young guys from the first class, first couple classes, need some new contracts. And I don't know if I'm going to have the money to bring, bring them in. I'm a little bit worried. But let's do the saving. So we'll save that one. And then we should be on file number one when we finish up this save so we'll auto we'll do the auto save just to make sure that everything is up to date even though we're saving the regular files and it'll auto save on its own just want to make sure all right so we've saved everything let's keep going playing the packers here we got to keep winning to keep barry sanders around we do beat the packers we now play the three and one panthers who have put themselves into a good spot they've rebuilt themselves fairly well they have rebuilt themselves fairly well even though they're an expansion team when we started this they have done a pretty good job i don't know how the jaguars are doing but there's the dolphins the dolphins were just in the super bowl we just played the dolphins last episode in the super bowl and now they're one and four now they're one and five we are six and oh going up against the bears they're three and three at the halfway point of the season mock draft number two is coming i'm hoping that tom brady's valued as he was in real life so that we don't have to spend a high pick on him because we have peyton manning so it wouldn't really be uh smart to spend a high pick on a quarterback but i i, I want brady's <laughs> so we'll see what happens let's do a little bit of saving again this time i'm, I'm just gonna save i'll save everything i was gonna just save the actual files not the auto saves but we'll save everything just because I don't remember how far we got in the Ravens series I'm not really sure can't really remember okay so we should be able to re-sign Terrell Owens now we should have that option and we do he wants 62 million why Terrell if we sign Terrell that's all we can do we can't bring back Willie Clay. We can't bring back Adam and Terry or Joe Horn or Broderick Thomas or Larry Izzo or Mark Schler. We can't bring back anybody if we sign Terrell Owens. So that's going to be a big decision. That is going to be a very, very big decision. <sighs> Looks like we might be making some wide receiver changes in terms of trading some players. National focus, does it even matter? I mean, I've got left guards as my national focus. So... I don't think it really even matters. Let's just let's just keep moving. We will see how we do against the Saints. And we win. We are undefeated. Here we go. We are undefeated. And Barry Sanders has come back to us. Is he going to commit to the full season? What does he say? Hey coach, I've been feeling a lot late a lot better recently. Still not where I'd like to be, but as long as we're winning, it shouldn't take long to get there. Thank you, Barry. That's great to hear, Barry. So he should be. He isn't 100% yet, but he's starting to feel more like himself, resulting in a reduced hit to his rating. Okay, that's good. Hopefully he's committing to the full season now. That's that's what I'm banking on, is that he's going to commit to the full season. As long as we don't have like a crazy collapse like we had last season, where we'd lost so many games that we should not have. I like how it said that Barry's rating was taking a hit. He's still a 99 overall. <laughs> I'm not sure what uh, kind of hit he was taking to his ratings, but we'll continue to save as we are into the second half of the season. Still undefeated. Are we the team of destiny? Are we champions for the second year in a row? But this time undefeated. Perfect season possibly perfect season i don't know we'll have to find out we'll have to find out take on the bills in detroit we get a w there there's a lot of different things going on but i'm kind of worried about it i'm kind of worried to click on them i don't know what they're going to be asking me all right so i want brady he is projected day three so that is nice that's kind of what he was valued well that is what he was valued in real life so that's nice to see. We'll scout Brady. We will scout... Probably should scout some wide receivers at this point. <laughs> we'll scout Dante Hall. And we will scout uh, LeVar Arrington. Those will be my three focus players here. 
looks like we're going to need some wide receivers. We're not going to have Terrell Owens. We're not going to have, uh, most likely, Joe Horn. Well, if we sign Terrell Owens, we're not going to have Joe Horn. That's pretty much guaranteed. We beat the Patriots. We take on the 8-3 Jets in week number 12. And we finally lose, so we will not be undefeated. That's kind of annoying, the fact that we couldn't go undefeated. We have probably the best team in the world, and yet we couldn't go undefe undefeated. Simulated against the Cowboys, who we beat in the NFC Championship, and we beat them again right here as we enter the bye week. 12-1. I wouldn't be surprised if we've already clinched the division. Oh, Barry's back with another Colony Quits thing. Have we clinched? Yeah, we've already clinched the division. At 12 and 1. That's not uh, not too shocking. But Barry is back, ready to discuss calling it quits again. I hope that he says that he's now 100%. He's committed for the right for the postseason and wants to give it one more ride. But before that, we will once again do our due diligence and give it a little savey save. Just to make sure that we are up to date and ready to go. Because once we get into the postseason, we're going to be jumping into games, jumping in and out of games, and that's going to be putting a lot more stress on this game than uh, the uh, just regular simulating. Okay. Barry, please give me good news. Coach, it's been a long year, but I'm feeling great lately and ready to go for the rest of the year. Barry is committed to the rest of the season. I can't tell you how happy I am to see that or to hear that. Yes, Barry. He's back to being himself, and he's motivated to finish the season strong. Mmm, that's exactly what we needed. We needed Barry to commit to the rest of the season. So we know for a fact that whether we lose the rest of these games or not, Barry Sanders will be here until the Super Bowl or whenever we get knocked out in the postseason. If if we don't and we make it to the Super Bowl, which is the goal, obviously. We do lose to the Cardinals by touchdown, which is kind of annoying. So we lose two games in the season. We lose to the Vikings. Don't tell me we're having the crumble. Don't tell me we're having the collapse. We are too good of a team. Oh my god. We are far too good of a team to lose this many games in a row. Okay, we, we end up winning against the Bears, but losing those games has given us a wild card berth instead of a divisional round playoff. Instead of a first round bye and then into the division round. I cannot believe that we did it again. We lost three in a row and allowed for the 49ers to take over the spot. That is absolutely insane. I don't know what it is about this team. What it is about this team that we can't finish the entire season. We just lose games. It's, un it's unbelievable. I don't. I, I literally have no idea. It's, it's crazy. I've never seen a team lose so consistently every single year at the end of the year. It's crazy to me. Unbelievable. We did it again. We did it last year, and we do it this year. Absolutely insane. All right, so we're up to date with the saves. Let's take a look at the stats, though. Take a look at the good old-fashioned stats. See what is going on. So Peyton Manning had a fantastic year. That could be MVP numbers right there. In his second season, 4,700 yards, 44 touchdowns, 5 picks, uh, 1,600 yards, and 15 touchdowns for Barry Sanders. Hey, Barry, you wanted to retire halfway through the year and yet you still put up 1600 yards and 50 touchdowns i'd say you're still in the prime of your life randy moss 1100 yards six touchdowns terrell owens a thousand yards 14 touchdowns herman moore a thousand yards nine touchdowns i didn't even think about this what we could do is the reason why we re-signed herman moore in the first place was to trade him eventually so we could free up money Maybe that's what we do at the end of the season. We trade Herman Moore so we can sign both Terrell Owens and Joe Horn back. That's probably what we should do. Defensively, Ray Lewis had 137 tackles. Amazing. Rondé Barber had 89. Sharper had 86. Borgella, who's becoming one of my favorite players, he had 80. So did McGinnis. 77 for the rookie champ, Bailey. Tackle for loss leader was Willie McGinnis with 15. He had a crazy number. Willie McGinnis was one of the smartest moves I ever made to get him on the team. Luther Ellis with 14, Strahan had 14, Thomas had 10. 17 sacks for William McGinnis. I wonder if this season is going to be Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, he had 80 tackles, 15 for loss, he had 17 sacks, and he put up two picks. 
And you know how much Madden values the sack number. So that could very well be Defense Player of the Year. Jason Taylor with 10.5. Strahan had 9. Luther had a, a 6. 5.5 for Broderick Thomas. 4 picks for Darren Sharper. 2 for McGinnis and Bailey. And then 1 for a couple other guys. Very good season from everybody, as, as expected. And now we go into the playoffs. We go into the playoffs... We will jump in just like we did last year, so I will make sure that everything is saved and ready to go. So that we can boot it up if we need to. We'll save the auto save. Force the auto save to save. <laughs> That's a lot of save in one sentence. And then we will do the same with the backup file. I could have named it backup, but eh, whatever. Save that right there. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Now we can jump in and play against the Arizona Cardinals. At least we should be hosting our playoff games until the NFC title game, unless the 49ers get beat. So that's at least something that's comforting. But we got to go play the Cardinals. I think we played them last year too. We should be able to beat them. Let's find out. All right. We are here in the first quarter against the Cardinals in the wild card playoff. We shouldn't even be in the wild card playoff but we are so we'll take it in stride and we will try to defend our crown the hard way by going through the gauntlet to get back to the championship game we lead seven to three now it's 10 7 cardinals coming up on the half time and we tie it up 10 10 couldn't do anything at the end of the half though i'm getting a little nervous here this is a little bit more intense than i would have expected 13 10 we lead 13-13 Cardinals tie it back up. Are we going to have to uh, jump in here and get a little bit of a job done? I think we might have to. 219 to go. Looks like the Cardinal jerseys have been uh, glitched out for some reason. That makes me think that we didn't play the Cardinals in the last last episode because I think I would have remembered the Cardinal jerseys getting glitched up like that. So that's okay. Two minute warning. All we have to do is get in a field goal range, but I want to score a touchdown. And as you may have noticed, I did uh, adjust some of the player jerseys. So Terrell Owens is now wearing number 81. Uh, Randy Moss is now wearing number 84. Just to make sure that you guys can recognize them on the field. I know it might be a little bit more difficult when they're not wearing their traditional numbers. The numbers you would recognize them in. I'm going to fire that in. Terrell Owens, big catch. A minute 50 to go and Peyton Manning is wheeling and dealing. We're going to go with a little vertical call here. Probably not the smartest idea. We'll just check it down to Barry. The veteran, Barry Sanders, world champion Barry Sanders. And now the Cardinals are using their timeouts. The Arizona Cardinals are using their timeouts, which is, puts us in a perfect position because all we got to do is make them waste their timeouts and then win this game. Barry falls forward for a first down, second timeout used. Oh, we are in such a prime position to beat these Cardinals such a prime position it's crazy that peyton manning hasn't scored a touchdown or hasn't thrown a touchdown yet this whole offense really hasn't done much today except for this final drive but that's because i've been in control of it and I, we all know that i'm super good cardinals are out of timeouts it's second and six i kind of want to run the ball but i also kind of want to pass it we're gonna run it barry did he get a first down there? He fell forward, or he fell backwards, I guess, but he, he fell towards the first down marker. He didn't get it. It's third and inches. We're going to run this ball again. It's third and inches. We got Barry Sanders. We got the best running back of all time. Hand it off to Barry. He spins, gets down to the one. We have all of our timeouts, so we can we can play with this. We can let this ride. Cardinals can get into their sets. They can, they can do whatever they want, but we can get into whatever position we want. I could audible into a pass here, though. That might be a little cheeky. Nah, I'll, I'll go... I could send Dilger out on like a an out thing because he might be open there, but we'll run it. We'll run it with Barry. That's the safe thing to do. That's the smart thing to do. We will run it with Barry Sanders. That's what we're going to do. So shot, uh, play, I was going to say shot clock. Play clock going down. Barry Sanders into the end zone, wide open, parted the Red Seas. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. That should be all she wrote for the wildcard playoff, and it is. The Detroit Lions will move on to the NFC title game. Peyton Manning didn't do much. Although he had a couple big throws to Terrell Owens. But it was mainly Barry Sanders who did all the work. It was... Uh-oh. Okay, this is what we prepared for. 
It did crash. This is what we prepared for. I will load up the backup file. All right, so it seems I have some bad news. It seems that both of my files, my backup file and my normal file, have been uh, corrupted. I don't know how they both got corrupted. I was only saving, I was saving on both of them, but I was only running the one. I'm pretty sure even the auto saves have been corrupted. Yeah, nothing, nothing's loading on any of it. My plan, my master plan has failed. And the Lions series is over. Man, this is depressing. Why does this happen? I don't know. I just, I don't know. Yeah, I can't get into it. I only have the two save files, although I feel like anything else I would have had, any other files would have been corrupted too. But I can't get in any of the auto saves. I can't get any in any of the actual files. And that is where we will end it. On a cliffhanger. <laughs> we got farther. I'm pretty sure we got farther in this series than we did in the Ravens because I don't think we even got to the playoffs in the Ravens series before it got before it crashed and got corrupted. I, that's just what happens when you're working with this mod, man. I've seen plenty of other uh, YouTubers that have done this mod in the past uh, have this same problem. So it's not just me. It's not my, my PC or anything like that. It's other people. that It's just this game, Madden 22, has its problems. And this mod can't handle those problems. So that sucks. But good news is we already got a championship. And mainly, we got it with Barry Sanders on the roster. So that was the overarching goal of the entire series, was to get the championship with Barry Sanders. And we did that last episode. So unfortunately, looks like the Lions series is going to be ending prematurely, just like the Ravens series. And I don't think I'm going to be doing another one. I'm probably not going to be doing a, a long-form series on this mod anymore, just because it's just going to end in heartbreak. It's just going to end with the game crashing around this same mark around 99 to 2000 and i don't know maybe it's the draft class that i'm using maybe it's the 90 the 2000 draft class because it doesn't crash with any other draft class at least it didn't crash any time up up to that point and then it all of a sudden crashes with this one i don't know maybe i, I can do some testing offline and see if it's just this draft class that crashes crashes or if it's like other ones later on i don't know i'll i'll do some off camera testing to see but more than likely this is going to be the end of the 1994 mod i do have some ideas on the back burner for like normal rebuild videos of the 99 of the 94 mod um like i wanted to do a couple like normal rebuilds like where i take a team and i just rebuild them in, in one episode or one video so I do have a couple ideas on the back burner for that, but I don't know if that's going to work because depending on how bad the team is that I choose to rebuild, it might take to this point to win a championship and then it'll just crash. I was like, I don't know. So like I said, I'm going to do some off camera testing. I'm going to load up some different save files, uh, create some new files and, uh, load up this draft class specifically like in year one i'll load up the 99 or the 2000 draft class i'll simulate and see if it crashes uh and i'll load up some different draft classes too and see if they crash uh but i don't know man i, I can't do anything about it like i said like it just it's not gonna work it's unfortunate it's a, a downer for sure because i really have fun doing the this series because it's just the fact that you get to go back to 1994 and then experience all the draft classes of the of the 2000s with all those amazing players that are in each of those draft classes like it's just so much fun and then you even get the players a little bit of carryover from the 90s like with with randy moss and peyton manning and uh terrell owens and all those guys uh, ray lewis everybody like it's just so much fun it's such a different vibe but it's uh not much i can do when when it crashes because I, I even had the backup file, and the backup file also got corrupted. So maybe I messed up the save. Maybe I shouldn't have been saving them at the same time. Maybe I should have been saving one at one point and then saving one at another point. Maybe that's what I should have done wrong. I don't know. 
There's a lot of things I could have done better, I guess. But it crashed again. And so that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. At least we got the championship. If, if I didn't win a champ, we also won a championship with the Ravens too. So at least we got that done. That's technically the rebuild complete. So if I wouldn't have won a Super Bowl with Barry Sanders, I would have been even more heartbroken than I already am. But at least we got that done so I can have a little bit of an ease on my shoulders about that. So we got that done. That's nice. But it is overall just kind of sucky that it has to end this way i was hoping to take this all the way to, to modern day to, to 2024 but it doesn't seem like that's gonna allow me to if any of you guys have any suggestions that would be awesome maybe you guys have, have worked with this mod back when madden 22 was like in its cycle and you guys were using this mod and it was probably crashing on you back then too so let me know if you have any ideas any suggestions on what i should do but that is going to do it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we're going to leave it on a cliffhanger in the playoffs. We did win the wild card game, so we were on track to win another Super Bowl. Let's just say we won two in a row. Let's just, let's just give us the credit, the benefit of the doubt. We won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Barry was going to retire at the end of the season. He was going to ride off into the sunset with two rings on his fingers instead of none. It was going to be a nice day. That's going to do it for the video, though. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.